guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jeanette and I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger behind elegantofshade.com. For my blog and my social media links down below, so feel free to come follow me and subscribe to my channel as I upload two videos a week. In today's video, we're going to do a reaction video. Now, these are quite popular and these um, bring a lot of uh, oomph to my channel, so I thought I'd do one again today. It's been a while. I was supposed to film one yesterday, but my camera... I do not recommend any Olympus cameras at the moment, but the camera decided to give way, so I had to start again, and I thought I'd do it today. So today I'm going to be doing... Now, my friend sent a few to me. It's a Rick Owen Spring Summer 2016 Full Fashion Show. This actually goes for about 8 minutes, so obviously if you're new here, I'm going to be doing commentary, and I'm going to leave by the side of the screen a um, video for you to see, so you're watching it with me. And I'm going to link the original down below as well, so you can see that in full if you want to go check it out. But I'm going to do my fashion commentary. My style is very different, and I'm very blunt when it comes to my commentary, so my reactions are very genuine. So if you're new here, don't get yourself a cuppa, sit down and relax, and don't forget to subscribe. And let's get into the video. Cyclops. I'm worried. This is what my friend sent it to me, okay? I react, like I'm pretty, um, react, you know, like I'm a reacting person, if that makes sense. So when I see something for the first time, my face usually says so. Um, yeah, so as you can see, they've walked in with a vest and underwear and gum boots, because that's a look these days. Um, yeah, this is why she sent it to me, because, thanks girl. But in the meantime, if you have any videos you want to react to, any fashion related content, put the links down in the description, or in the comment box below, and I'll, I'll look into that and I'll um, do them no problem. So if you have anything specific you want to react to, put them in the comments. What's with the three people? <laughs> Okay, that looks semi-normal. A dress, jacket, boots. I just don't understand the three people. What are they? So it looks like in a bit of a dungeon downstairs of some warehouse that looks quite um, sketchy. I don't know if you're feeling that way. I am. Okay, did you see that? Someone had a person on their shoulders. <laughs> this is why she said it to me to react to. She's like, you gotta react to this. She goes, don't, don't react, don't open them yet. React to them when you see them. So this is raw content. This is a raw response. Fashion, fashion, fashion. <laughs> Again, that is so weird. I don't know how to respond to that. Like, um, I don't know, like, what to say. Um, and if I did, it wouldn't be nice. <laughs> I don't know. Looks, the, the dresses are like normal. You know, like, okay, apart from the underwear, you know, and the people walking in with people on top. But like, they're, they're semi-normal, you know, outfits. But just suddenly, and like, there's three people standing there. Going to do a close up for you guys, so you can see. Um, I don't, I don't understand it. Um, let me see what the comments are. Okay, this is avant garde. Okay. Um, how can I say avant garde? Okay, I get it. It's meant to be creative. You push the boundaries, and you, you know, um, okay, runways. Let's make it simple. Runways are meant to be creative, exaggerating, you know, they're exacerbating the thing that they're putting on the runway. I don't get avant-garde, I, I, okay, I'm not meant to, because uh, my style is very different to what Steve's showing at the moment. 
but um, I don't get it. I'm scared. <laughs> Not bad. That's not bad dress, the green one. I just don't understand the people. They're just standing there. stress coming up. I like the I like I saw last night I saw my friend last night for dinner and she said I sent you a video for you to react to she goes as she said one of the videos has people on it, but she goes, you, and I like change the subject of blah, blah, discussions while we're talking. And then this one, she's like, you need to do this one. She goes, this is different, and I think it'll be good. Shout out to you, girl. Thanks for making me do this. words is pretty pretty rare okay <laughs> it's rare for me to never have words let's just say they are the singers and there's another one They're at the front, the next minute the people at the back. Yeah. Okay. I don't know whether I'll like the clothes. <laughs> okay, people that okay, there's two obviously two people on one, one person on one when they're by, by themselves walking. I don't know if I like the clothes because it looks like a elegant spaceship. I'm 
I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't have words. Like I said, if for me to not have words is pretty serious because I'm a very talkative person. I always have a comment to say. Might not be right, but I always will have a comment. I will always will have my opinion. I am like that. But in this case, I don't have anything to say. Apart from the obviously the two people, so they're at the front, back, some have got the arms wide out. Um, I don't know. I can think of. I was just reading the comments on that video. I, I get, I totally respect Avant Guard and the creativity towards, you know, the collections and everything. But for me, um, I don't diss Avant Guard in any way, but it's not wearable. Um, you can have whatever style you like, the, you know, anything. Um, just not a, pro, a wearable style for me. That's the only thing. Um, I get why they do it, and it's to express their creativity and obviously Rick, uh, Rick, Rick Owen, Rick Owens obviously has something to say if he does. Um, but yeah, I just don't get the um, message in this, if that makes sense. I'm not reading it, maybe I'm not reading it right, but um, I just, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, in saying that, beautiful pieces that when they're not carrying out of models, but yeah. Nice. I like that. The bomber with the, the dress, I like that. That's something I'd wear. Um, yeah, like I said, I just don't understand the message. One thing I've got to say, a lot of the models are very unique. It's all different, different um, ethnic backgrounds and obviously that's an amazing. It's an amazing concept to bring that onto a runway. I think that there's not many, not much diversity. We've come a long way, but there's still so much we can go towards to regards to diversity on the runway. Like I find there's not a lot of me on the runway, like i.e. blind as a bat. <laughs> um, but not mid-size, there's either really curvy or too skinny and anorexic or blimey kind of thing. I just think that there needs to be more diversity and I've always said that. They should have done that many years ago. I'm glad they're doing it now, but, and I'm glad Rick, Ricky, I keep saying Ricky or Rick, Rick Owens has decided to put them in, like, bring that concept in and that's a really great idea. So, I'm happy about that. Plus someone's just standing there. I just decided to like pretty much go into the middle one way somewhere in its sides. I like that idea.
true story, I went to a runway show a few years ago and it was similar um, atmosphere to this. Um, it was for good cause. So the money was going towards, I think, Peter Mac, breast cancer or something like that. So um, obviously I went, I'm a bit advocate for cancer cancel. And um, yeah, it was similar, like dungeon style in the but, uh, middle of the base. I think it was in North Melbourne. Um, if I can find any from anything, like I really can't remember, it was a good few years ago now. But um, yeah, it was such a great night and this just reminds me of that. Like they obviously have a message be behind it. Yeah, I don't know. I'll continue on and I'll tell you guys later. Okay, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. But and now I'm just gonna tell you my side. Uh, tell you what I think. As I was saying just a few minutes ago, Avantgarde is a create creative direction in a runway. It's not necessarily a wearable approach, which is what I personally like. It is a um, creative direction that the, usually the creative director likes to go in. So Avantgarde to different styles. So it's very adventurous. Very creative, and I completely respect every designer that decides to do that. Um, I'm just not a fan, personally. I don't think they're wearable. Some items, like I've said that a lot of the time, some items I could wear them chucked on with a pair of leg, like spank leggings or like jeans or a nice skirt. You know, I could actually wear them individually. I wouldn't wear them as a whole, but yes, I would wear them individually. But with collections, you have to put all the items together as like a story. So I can understand why they did that. Second, I've been in a similar location when it comes to runway, I just said to you a few minutes before. Um, it was in the middle of a dungeon. Obviously with that and Rick Owens, that brand, um, when they styled the runway, they had like a violinist and they had a DJ. Like obviously with that, they had a message and a cause for that runway. It's the same thing for Rick Owens in this case. Okay, you didn't have to donate to the Cancer Council in, in this instance, but they had a creative direction. And their direction is what they just showed. Now, it's it's not my personal taste. I don't like it. But in the respect to the designer, he did really well. Um, obviously, the music and the singers, um, which was kind of weird. But the thing that freaked me out is the people on top of people. They can You know, I wouldn't... If, they, if I was at model, I'd be like, look, I'll be the one that doesn't carry a person. Because I'll be dropping that person on the floor. No problem. How could you be like... Some were, yeah, anyway, <laughs> let's just leave that one alone. But yeah, I completely respect Rick Owens and what he's created. Obviously, Vanguard is adventurous, it's a creative direction that you push yourself and, you know, like you push your mind and see where you want to go, but not personally my taste, but it's still a bit of a runway. The music was great, the singers were amazing, they did really well. Um, yeah, so that's my f two cents of that, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and um, turn on your post notifications bell and don't forget to leave a comment down in the in the comments box below if you have any runways you want me to react to please put them in there as well so if you want to do anything like Balenciaga, Chanel well no I like Chanel but Balenciaga, Gucci, anything like that put them in the comments love to hear, see you back here again thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one bye